Good morning and welcome to this August 18th version of From Sunrise to Sunset with Pastor Gene. Today we're going to look at uh, Matthew chapter 3. Very important, uh, very important passage because it's in this passage that we get introduced to John the Baptist. Now, the connection here between Jesus and John the Baptist is a little bit different than uh, than the version over in Luke, which we'll talk about in a future study. In this version, John the Baptist appears, and he has a message. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Now, of course, Matthew continues this connection process, connecting John the Baptist with the message back in Isaiah 40 about the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Now, John the Baptist was described in pretty much all the Gospels as a little bit um, different uh, in the way that he carried himself and how he conducted himself. Um, but John the Baptist was, was quite the preacher with quite the message of repentance. And he was leading the people to understand that even though this message of repentance was important, there was one who was coming that was mightier than he was. And he was going, I love this passage. Um, I baptize you with water for repentance. This is verse 11. But one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand and he will clear the threshing floor and will gather his wheat into the granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. There was a time a while back that when I was preaching this text, back when we were in worship, that I actually got a hold of a winnowing fork and brought it in and showed everybody uh, what a winnowing fork looked like. And uh, it was it was quite the thing. <laughs> They didn't know what to think of, of of my prop for that particular sermon, but it was it was still good. Uh, anyway, um, in, as chapter three concludes, Jesus comes up, and he comes up to be baptized. And John would have prevented him from doing that, and um, he he has a conversation, an exchange with Jesus about that. But it, either way. Jesus is baptized by John, and a voice comes up from heaven. Again, another connection. The voice of God speaking to Moses in the Old Testament. The voice of God speaking here in Matthew as Jesus is baptized. This is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. This is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Whenever we think about Jesus and whenever we think about what his message in life and death and resurrection was about, we need to remember those words came from God at his baptism. And we need to strive with our lives to make the connection in our life with Jesus. So today I want you to reflect on, on John the Baptist's message of repentance on the fact that Jesus came for baptism and the result of it were those words heard from heaven. This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. May we strive to please God each and every day from sunrise to sunset. <laughs>